Hello, Matosiast! Welcome again sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang mat ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, ang pag-uusapan natin is about transforming quadratic function in standard form to vertex form. Okay, using completing the square method. So, ang quadratic function natin kasi can be written... Ang quadratic function natin ay pwedeng isulat in standard form and in vertex form. Meaning to say, yung standard form pwedeng maging vertex form, yung vertex form pwede rin naman maging standard form. Pero ano ba naman o ano ba naman? Ano ba yung standard form na yan at ano ba yung vertex form na yan? Sige, let's see. Now, quadratic function is defined by y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c can be transformed into the form y equals a times the quantity of x minus h squared plus k which is considered our vertex form. Okay? Ngayon, para mas maintindihan nyo yan, isinulat ko dito, okay, ang standard form natin na dapat kabisado nyo, y is equal to a x squared plus b x plus c. Alam ko naman, alam nyo na to, kasi parang eto lang din naman yung quadratic equation natin, quadratic inequalities natin, kaya lang nagbabago lang dito sa part na to, kasi ito ay y equals na. Okay, pero ito, Yung ax squared plus bx plus c, same pa rin naman siya. Now, this one, yung standard form can be transformed or changed into vertex form. At ano ba yung vertex form? y is equal to a times the quantity of x minus h squared plus k. Okay? Ito, pwedeng maging vertex form, pero si vertex form, pwede din naman din siyang maging standard form. Pero ang focus natin today is, is sorry, is itong standard form gawin nating vertex form. Now, may iba't ibang paraan para ang standard form ay maging vertex form, pero mag Focus lang muna tayo sa completing the square method. So, let's transform. Use completing the square method. So, completing the square method tayo ha. Napag-aralan naman na natin yung completing the square. Kaya, magiging madali lang ito para sa inyo. Okay? So, ito, we have y is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 2. Dapat maging vertex form siya, which is, excuse me, y is equal to a times x minus h or the quantity of x minus h squared plus k. So, dapat maging ganyan yung itsura niya. So, paano natin gagawin yun? We have there, we have here, y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus blank. Naalala nyo to, di ba? Naglalagay tayo ng blank. Okay? Kasi ito dapat maging perfect square trinomial para ma mas mabilis natin siyang ma-factor. Okay, minus 2, kopyahin lang ito. Tapos, whatever we add here, dapat isa-subtract din natin siya. Okay, paano naman natin ilalagay yung, paano naman natin ilalagay? Paano natin malalaman yung ilalagay natin sa blank? Diba, naaalala nyo, may formula tayong negative b over 2, and then we square it. Sige nga, ano ang b natin dito? It's negative 4. So, negative times negative 4 over 2, and then we square it. What is negative times negative? Positive 4 divided by 2, 2. And then, the square of 2 is 4. So, ibig sabihin, this is 4 and then this is 4. O, ayan na, mabilis na lang siya. Y is equal to, ano ang factor nito? Diba, pag perfect square trinomial, ang technique natin is, we just get the square root of the first term, and then the square root of the last term, and then, yung sign nila, yung magiging sign ng dalawang na yun, dapat tingnan natin sa middle term. So, let's see. Square root ng x squared. X. And then, x. Square root ng 4. 2, and then 2. Since ang sign natin sa middle term ay negative, negative, negative siya. Okay? And then, tignan natin to, negative 2 minus 4. So, dahil ito ay minus, ang strategy namin dyan, kung natatandaan pa ng mga estudyante ko, we have KCC. We keep this one, we change this one to positive. Since positive to, we change to negative. So, keep, change, change. Negative 2 plus negative 4, we have there, negative 6. 
O ayun na, madali na lang siya. Pag samahin na to, di ba, we can have it squared. So, magiging x minus 2 and then squared minus 6. Ayan na, eto na ang ating vertex form. Baka tatanungin nyo, ma, paano naging vertex form yan? Ito ba yung itsura niyan, ha? Yes. Yan, magkapareho sila. We have y equals 2. Ano ang a natin dito? Baka kasi mamula namang a dyan na meron 1. Pero we don't need to write 1, di ba? Invisible 1 siya. Tapos x minus ang h natin squared plus our k. So, that's the vertex form. O, another example para kung naiintindihan, naiintindihan talaga. Okay? We have here y is equal to x squared minus 6x. Okay, plus, plus ano? Correct, plus blank. Okay, and then, copy this one, minus 4. Kung ano yung inad, isa subtract. Okay, paano natin malalaman yung ilalagay natin dito? Kailangan natin yung negative b over 2, and then you b square it. Okay, yan ang formula ha. Natatandaan nyo. Okay, since we have here negative times what is our b? Negative 6 over 2 and then we get the square of this. So, negative times negative, positive 6. Diba? Positive 6 divided by 2 and then we square it. 6 divided by 2. Is 3 and then we square it. So, we have there 9. Okay? So, ibig sabihin 9 nito and then 9 din nito. So, y is equal to factor nito. O, alam nyo na, sisiw na sisiw. Square root nito, x. And then, x. Square root nito, 3. And then, 3. And then, since negative to, negative, negative. Okay? This one, minus to. So, kcc, keep, change, and then change. So, negative 4 plus negative 9, negative 13. And then, pagsamahin na natin, write as 1. So, we have x minus 3. And then, square it, minus 13. So, this is now the vertex form. Ang dali lang naman, di ba? Huwag kalimutang mag-comment mamaya at ilike itong video na ito ha. Kasi alam ko, nadalian kayo. Okay, number 3. Ang problem natin dito guys, yung x natin, oh no, yung a natin, yung value ng a natin, unlike dun sa unang example, wala siyang coefficient, di ba? Puro 1 ang coefficient niya. This, this time, greater than 1 yung coefficient natin. We have y is equal to 2x squared plus 8x minus 10. Kaya magiging y is equal to... Diba? We have here 2x squared plus 8x. Okay, plus blank. Okay, and then copy negative 10. Okay, minus blank. So, kung ano yung inad mo, imaminus mo rin. So, kung titignan natin ito, diba, makikita natin to, yung 2 and 8, pwede silang, pwede tayo mag-factor out kasi may common sila. Ano yung common nila? 2. So, bago natin gawin to, kompletuhin natin to, eh, kailangan muna natin i-factor to para yung a natin maging 1 siya, katulad nung nasa taas. So, ilalabas natin si 2. Ang matitira na lang dito, 2x squared divided by 2 is x squared. So, 8x divided by 2 is 4x. So, ganun ha. Pag may common, i-factor out muna siya dito. So, plus blank. Okay, minus 10. Minus. Dahil nilabas natin yung 2. Okay, pinactor out natin siya. Kung ano man yung ilalagay natin dito, ita times natin siya by 2. Nakita nyo, uulitin ko ha. Dahil may common si 2 and 8, ang common nila ay 2. Nilabas natin yung 2, finactor out natin. So, ang natira dito, 2 divided by 2 is 1. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Ngayon, since tayo ay maglalagay na ng value dito, okay, at inilabas natin yung 2 dito, kung ano man yung mga values dyan, ita times natin dun sa factor na kinuha natin, which is 2. So, ngayon, tignan natin ano ba yung ilalagay natin dyan. We have there negative b over 2. And then, we square it. Ang ating b ay 4. So, negative 4 over 2. And then, we square it. Negative 4 divided by 2 is 2. And then, we square 2. We have there 4. Okay? So, eto ay 4. Eto din ay 4. Okay? 
So, na- nagkaroon tayo ng 2 kasi nga, nag-factor out tayo dito. So, i-multiply dapat natin yung makukuha natin dito. Kasi nga, hindi naman 4 lang yun, di ba? Etong value ni 4, itina times natin siya, di ba? Pag isi-simplify. Pag ito, ita times, ita times, ita times. So, so, ibig sabihin, eto, pag nilabas mo siya, dapat nakamultiply siya by 2. Naintindihan ba yun? I-comment ka. Okay, so y is equal to 2. And then, factor nito, we have the square root of the first term and the square root of the last term. So, we have here x and then 2, x and then 2. Since ang sign natin ay positive, so plus, plus. Okay, wait for a while. Okay, so x plus 2, x plus 2. Okay, this is negative 10 minus... 2 times 4 is 8. Okay, so we will have here 2 times, pagsamahin na natin to, x plus 2, and then we square it. Kasi dalawang x plus 2, kaya naka-squared siya. So we have here KCC, negative 10, keep, uh, minus, magiging plus, kasi change, and then positive, magiging negative, kasi change din siya. So negative 10 plus negative 8 is negative 18. Okay, so we have our final answer. This one is our final answer. Yay! Ang dali naman pala pag greater than 1 ang A natin. Sige nga, tingnan natin kung talagang naintindihan isa pang example. So, we have here, okay, y is equal to 4x squared minus 24x minus 12. Ibaba lang natin ha para hindi bitin yung solution natin. Okay. Oh, wait for a while. Okay, oh, ayan. So, let's start. So, we have here, kopyahin muna natin, y is equal to 4x squared minus 24x plus blank. Okay, and then minus 12. Kinokopya lang lagi natin ha, yung last term natin or yung constant term natin. No, kung mapapansin nyo, yung 4 and then yung 24, meron ulit silang common. Okay, wait lang ha, negative 12, kung ano yung inad, sorry, ima minus, na-excite si ma'am ipaliwanag to. Ulit, kung ano yung ia-add mo, ima minus mo rin after. Okay, so we have here now, y is equal to common ni 4 and 24, meron sila. So, ilalabas natin, if a factor out natin, ang number na yon ay 4. Okay, so what will remain inside is x squared na lang. Okay, kasi dinivide na natin yung 4 divided by 4. And then, 24 divided by 4 is negative. Dahil negative to, negative 6x. Okay, plus blank. Okay, minus 12. Minus, o oh, anong multiply ko dito? Dahil tayo nag-factor out tayo ng 4, ibig sabihin yung kung ano man yung ilalagay natin sa mga blanks, din natin i-multiply by 4. Okay. Nga, intindihan na, pag nag-factor out yung nilabas na number, i-multiply mo doon sa mga ilalagay mo sa blank pag nag-completing the square ka na. Okay, so our B is negative B over 2 and then we square it. So, we have negative, negative 6 over 2, negative times negative is positive 6 over 2, 6 divided by 2, lahat yan ay naka-square. 6 divided by 2 is 3, and then 3 squared is 9. So, this is 9. This is multiplied by 9. Okay, kaya magiging y is equal to 4. Ano ang factor nito? Madali na lang, ba? Square root of the first, square root of the last. x and then x. Square root ng 9 is 3 and then 3. Pero dahil negative ito, ang ating mga sign ay negative. Okay, minus 12, minus 4 times 9 is 36. Correct. So, y is equal to 4. And then, we simplify this one. Pagsamahin na natin, x minus 3. And then, we square it. Kasi, pagsasamahin nga. Okay, so, we do here KCC. We keep, we change, and then we change. So, negative 12 plus negative 36 is negative 48. 
So, that's it. Ito na ang ating final answer. Ngayon, kung nagustuhan mo ang video na ito at nakatulong sa'yo ng sobra-sobra, please huwag ulit kalimutang mag-like at mag-iwan ng comment at i-share na rin sa iba para makatulong pa tayo sa iba. At kung bago ka pa lang sa aking YouTube channel, huwag kalimutang pindutin ang subscribe button at ang notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Thank you very much. Let's spread the love of math. Bye! Bye!